morning beautiful people welcome back to you live everything in wonder and welcome back to sicily i'm luca this is my wife sara and this beautiful baby girl is our daughter lucia we recently bought a 1.5 hectares olive grove and this ancient house <laughs> On this channel you will see two projects, we will be restoring our olive grove and we will be renovating this over 1000 years old house. We will give priority to this house so that when the renovation will be done, will be over, we can move in here and we don't need to pay for rent. And in October, when the olive harvest season starts, we'll be ready. This will be our first harvest season here in Sicily so we are very excited and we will produce for the first time our organic extra virgin olive oil. You have been asking a lot uh, about the basement, uh, the lower floor, this is the entrance uh, to the basement from the outside uh, the little path, uh, the little road. Uh, we are in a really ancient and old uh, part of the town where uh, basically didn't exist any vehicle when uh, this was built only donkeys let me show you inside let me show you these walls that are so thick it's it's built like a castle and the walls are massive are so big this has been here for over 1000 years uh, so it has been built uh, strong on this side of the house on this road i like to call this side of the house the castle side because look at that Look at the architecture of, of this building. You cannot have access with the car. And then on the other side, uh, our main entrance, we can park the car just in front of our door. So it will be easy for the groceries, it will be easy for supplies, for ma building materials. We fell in love with the, with the apartment because it's just one floor. We have two steps and then it's just one floor. That is so unusual here in Motta da Fermo because we have seen so many houses and they are kind of townhouses. You have two, three, four floors, but you have just one room and then you have the stairs, another room, the stairs, another room and then the stairs. So this was quite uncomfortable for us as a family with a toddler. When we saw this house, everybody told us this is the only house that you will find with this layout with this design so we say okay we have to <laughs> we have to make sure this will be ours did you guys check the floor did you guys check the ceiling did you guys check the attic did you guys check the roof yes we did and my beautiful husband will explain you everything <sighs> you want to vlog <laughs> let's enter from the outside this was the door we need to change uh, this of course uh, because uh, as you can see it's uh, destroyed so from here is where you can access uh, the apartment uh, up there and uh, you can come uh, here in the basement we got a lot of questions about this uh, roof uh, the ceiling these beams uh, they are wood beams uh, and they are iron beams uh, also reinforcing all these uh, this the ceiling as you can see they are quite uh, big also over here so we had uh, three different companies uh, three different engineers coming here to check uh, all of this because uh, this was one of our biggest uh, concern uh, because uh, we know that if we need to replace uh, this flooring uh, it would be so expensive and uh, so so uh, huge 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 project so we decided to not call one not two but three different companies uh, three different engineers uh, to come and check and see if uh, this was okay and uh, the condition and uh, if we need to replace it to make it safer or it's uh, or if we can use it like this and uh, they told us that uh, we can use it like this uh, we only have uh, to reinforce uh, a little part where the toilet the bathroom is uh, so we will be reinforcing that part uh, but for the rest uh, it looks uh, okay for the age uh, uh, it has they told us this 
house will not only be seen by you, by your children, grandchildren, but will be here for a long, a long time still. So don't worry. Many generations. Uh, many generations to come. And it looks, it looks, when you see from the video, it looks like rotten, but it's not. As Luca said, just uh, some beams uh, on this side where we have the bathroom are not in perfect shape. So we will put another iron beam to reinforce that. But other than that, it's beautiful. We love the layout of this house uh, because we basically have uh, everything upstairs uh, without needing to come down here. But uh, down here we have a beautiful potential. Many of you have been asking about the windows, uh, if we can open uh, more windows. Uh, and uh, we will try to see with the companies, with the engineers, if that is possible. But as you can see, the size of the walls over here, it's uh, huge, it's really, really big. And uh, since this house is so unique, it's so old, it's so antique, uh, it's kind of a museum, uh, we would like to keep as much as possible what we can uh, the way it is. Uh, of course, uh, if we will be able to open a little bit more these little windows, uh, to make this uh, basement more livable and uh, increase the potential, we will try to do so. But uh, for the moment upstairs, we want to keep it uh, just the, the way it is. And uh, we will see in the future if we want to change something. For now, we need to finish this renovation as fast as possible because uh, we have a deadline in October. We need to work on the farm, on the olive grove. So we need to try to be fast uh, and uh, we are on a budget. So let's try to do it. started the masonry works this week this will take a little bit of time because the walls are not in good conditions and there was a leak from the roof in the living room now the roof is okay but the leak you can see the damage of the leak on the walls uh, we checked the roof as well so it's okay it's in good condition they first needed to scrape all the walls and then we decided to apply a special plaster so we will be plastering the walls not painting the walls uh, they're special because they contain a sicilian marble and we will apply two coats the first coat will be a plaster with a coarse grain and the second one will be a fine grain so that the result will be smoother we tried uh, several times and then at the end we uh, reached the final effect, the final results that we wanted. So we are very happy. So let's see what we were able to accomplish in the past few days. Today is a very special day because we are starting the renovation of our house here in the village. So. We can't wait to see how everything will be and to see everything clean, everything white. We will start with the walls renovation. We have been waiting for this moment for so long because we... Thank you. We should start the, the renovation in July. Now we are in August, but better late than never. This was an entire uh, house, a big panel. So here we found the door that connected uh, now another property to this one. But was just one huge property. Yeah. 
Palazzo Adamo. Palazzo Adamo. And was basically, I will show you from the outside. So from that corner, that corner this is the church. From that corner. Basically over there. Yes. After the yellow house was one big huge palace. So that's why you can see the connection, the niches, yeah. the doors inside. Who is this little bunny? Oh are you hungry? Yeah. Today we will be removing this piece of the roof in the kitchen and I'm super curious to see what we will find under this roof. These houses are super super old and the people used to hide things in the roof, in the walls, so actually we could find some treasures in here, so it's exciting. <laughs> We wanted to see behind the carton gesso, the drywall, and in case we like it, we can leave it like this, but it's not in a good shape, so we will change it. And we will replace the drywall and then paint it because it's not nice to, to see, unfortunately. It's not worth it. Beautiful people, I started removing all the old pipes, uh, as you can see over here. I will be removing all of it uh, from the outside. Uh, they are already rotten in the inside. Over here. So, I, I will be putting uh, copper um, pipes uh, uh, in the exterior, so it's easier to access. Uh, we don't have to destroy all the walls uh, that are really old ancient walls uh, as you can see there are stones huge stones inside the walls so it's better not to work on these walls too much there's a lot going on taking all the the parts that are bad so we can start then working. I, I, I will be removing also this one because in the future we would like to put a shower over here. So we have a window and then a washing, a washer, a washing machine over here. So there's the toilet on this side. Still need to work on, uh, on the toilet. Okay, work in progress. Ancient part of the village, this balcony and this balcony uh, on our property, on our house, so peaceful. You can see the some islands over there. The sea view is beautiful. As you can see, this part is uh, how the the volta are made. They call them uh, mattoni or uh, tavella or pressato. Pressato. But we will not be uncovering all the volta, just this part. This is how they are. Sono, sono belle antiche queste qua. Sì. 
And here you can see the wall of the house is all made of stones. This is why we are not breaking and trying to make pipes uh, going there because it's a really hard work to to break those walls and we don't want to we want to keep them like that. Super heavy, super super heavy. Okay, so here we have this door between this little room that will be a baby room, like Lucha's room or a wardrobe room. And uh, now I will remove this door. Let me show you on the other side how it looks like. And then... <laughs> This is the, the door, this is our room, the balcony, the sea view, so now we will remove the door from the other side, from the kitchen you can access here to this little room. This is end of day one. Luca is removing all the wires. Si sí, amore, coming. Look this beautiful detail underneath. Uh, they used to paint uh, blue, blue like that. Imagine back in the days uh, yeah. when it was new. The question today was to leave or not this gypsum detail and I really like that so they told me that they prefer would have preferred to remove it and make everything flat and nice but Luke and I we really like that and we will leave it because we think it's part of the history and the elegance of the house as well it will not be perfect because no. in some places uh, as you can see yeah. it's damaged there over here as well in the bedroom here as well here in the bedroom is the worst one like here yes. here it's like it's basically <laughs> yes 
Coming. But uh, it's part of the the history of the soul of this house. Yeah, the style also of the yes. house. Good morning, beautiful people. Today is day number two. And, uh, I'm still removing uh, the old uh, wires. We will be using that too, right? Yes, for the moment uh, we will be using them uh, and then I will replace with new wires uh, do everything uh, new with the new standards. We are already covering some holes uh, and uh, making some patches. Uh, with cement, right? Yes, yes. and then uh, they will be covered with the other materials that Sara will show you. And uh, yeah, let's go to work. E provando, e provando. Dai, buffo che dura la vinta. Okay, so we decided to go with this one and then another hand, second hand of this one because I prefer this kind of elegant finish. And it will be white. Some work in progress. Number three, renovation of our house here in Motta da Fermo, beautiful village in the middle of the Nebrodi and Madonie, close to the sea, almost abandoned but not abandoned at all because here there are 600 people living and it's like being in a big, big, big family, everybody's so nice with us and they are really they welcome us like like family we are very grateful to be here and today big 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 improvement i will show you they start with the living room This will be the result on the left. This is a typical Sicilian breakfast, granita. This is mango flavor with panna, that is whipped cream. Usually you eat that with a brioche, but I'm having a croissant with white chocolate. And for Luca, arancino with pistachio and speck. And a calzone with mozzarella and prosciutto. <laughs> Start a new day with a smile. Always. facevano i cani amore
Fai cara, cara, bimbo, cara, bimbo. This is the second hand. Muovi anche la cornice? Eh? Sì, sì, sì. Ok. Ok, we are finishing this room today. We are here. Every morning we go to our land and we come here and then we go back to the land. Say hi, good morning, ciao. And today, yeah, they are giving the second hand, the second coat of this rasante it's really pretty 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 cool because this will not move will not go anywhere and the fact is beautiful so charming so smooth perfect for this house we want to keep these original doors they are quite nice but they are pretty destroyed down there so i want to rebuild them and uh, renovate them uh, they are pretty old, uh, but for those times, uh, the technique they, they used uh, over here, as you can see, there is a female and a male going inside. Uh, it's quite uh, good. One room is done and it's beautiful. And also the second room is done. <laughs> It's still it wet. Needs, yes, it needs to dry, that's why you see this color. But when it's dry, it gets uh, white like that. I, I like because it's not white, 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 yes. optic white. We need to clean everything. And this is our view. Okay, guys, this is our living room. I see everything on the floor still because we are not done yet. But the result is incredible. So this room is done. And also the bedroom is done. Quite a difference, eh? So this is the incredible transformation guys, we are so happy about it. Everything is clean, is sanitizer, is disinfected, it looks uh, beautiful. I mean at least two rooms, uh, the living room and our bedroom. Now we still need to finish uh, the rest of the house. Yes. But uh, I... Huge progress. It's a huge progress, I mean uh, I'm loving it. Uh, we hope also 
through the video you can see the improvement so every week we will show you uh, some step forward the renovation and then at the end of the project we will also share with you the cost of the renovation because I think it's interesting <laughs> Luigi is really attracted by the tripod yeah She's the camera man right now. She's the camera baby. We hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If so, please share to us, smashing the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. We love you, we appreciate you. Thank you for coming along with us and stay with us. Because uh, we will see you next Sunday with uh, a new episode of the house transformation. And remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful and love <laughs> and love <laughs> oh, always wins l'amore vince sempre saluta amore Say saluta bye qua bye. <laughs> she's behind the camera guys she's behind the camera she's just going around ciao ciao see you next sunday ma che dici <laughs> second chance and to see how it would be how we will turn out Yeah, just get